Hi, it's me Tina Amir and welcome to my channel. So for this video, it's just a continuation of the previous video regarding the vocabs at the construction site. So I think I like to continue a bit more, which is about conversation. And for this video, I'm just going to use the informal pronunciation. And for those of you who are not clear yet about pronunciation, please watch my number 53 video, Confusing Pronunciation. So without wasting any more time, let's start. How to say, this is dangerous. Be careful. This is dangerous. Informal pronunciation for speaking. Bahaya ni. Ni from the word ini, which means this. So bahaya ni. Be careful. Be careful is hati-hati. It's actually from the word berhati-hati. But for speaking, you just say hati-hati. So, bahaya ni, hati-hati. Bahaya ni, hati-hati. This is dangerous. Be careful. Next phrase, don't underestimate safety measures or safety issue. But don't underestimate is like when you think something is less important. In Malay, Jangan ambil mudah pasal keselamatan. Jangan ambil mudah pasal keselamatan. Or some people also say, Jangan ambil mudah pasal safety. Jangan ambil mudah pasal safety. So, jangan is don't. Ambil is from the word ambil. Actually, the real word is ambil which means take. But for speaking, that L we convert into K. Then it become ambe instead of ambil. So ambe, which means take, mudah is easy. Don't take easy, something like that. But in English, I think the closest one to this is jangan ambe mudah is don't underestimate. Pasal is about. Keselamatan from the word selamat, which means safe. So keselamatan is safety. So, don't underestimate safety issues or safety measure. You can say, jangan ambil mudah pasal keselamatan. Or you can say, jangan ambil mudah pasal safety. Or if you want to ask your friend to take something for you, then you can say, tolong ambilkan. Tolong ambilkan. So, in English, it means please take. And then you mention what you want from your friend. Tolong ambilkan. Tolong is please for this sentence. But please also watch my please video. Ambilkan is from the word ambil which means take. And ambilkan actually. But we don't say it like that. For speaking, we say ambilkan. Tolong ambilkan. So, tolong ambilkan is please take. And you also can say tolong bagi. Tolong bagi is please give. Or maybe it's something like and it won't harm and you just quite a distance to each other. Then you can say tolong campak. Tolong campak. Campak has another meaning also which is demam campak which actually we call measles. And campak another is like fling or throw. So tolong campak. But never campak anything dangerous, okay? I just mentioned this in case you have something very light then it's okay. And if you want to ask your friend, have you finished your work? So you can ask, awak dah siap kerja? Or you can also ask, awak kerja dah siap? Or you can also ask, kerja awak dah siap? So kerja, actually kerja. But sometimes some people remove the R word and they just say kerja. Or maybe they have very soft R pronunciation. Kerja, kerja. That's R but very soft. Or they eliminate it. Da from the word sudah which means already. Siap is finish or done. So in this case, have you finished your work? And if you already done, then you can say dah siap. Dah siap. So dah siap is already done or already finished. Or if you not done yet, so you can say belum, belum is not yet, belum tak siap lagi, tak siap lagi, not finish yet. Tak is from the word tidak which means not. Lagi actually means more but here tak siap lagi means not finish yet. And you can say boss is boss. In Malay also boss, in English also boss. So tak siap lagi boss. 
or you don't want to say something negative, you know, you're afraid of being scolded. So you just say, sekejap je lagi siap. You try to positive that negative VT. So you say, sekejap je lagi siap. In English, it means soon gonna be done. Sekejap is for short. Je is from the word sahaja and then or sahaja. And then it actually means only or just. Lagi is more. Siap is finish. Of course, it's not really makes sense if you direct translate. But in English, it means soon gonna be done. Sekejap je lagi siap. Or you can also say nanti siap. Nanti siap in English is like later will be done. So will is akan. Nanti is later. Siap is finish or done. But for speaking, you can say akan. You also no need to say akan. We normally don't say. But up to you. Nanti akan siap. Nanti siap. When you say the word nanti later, it's already indicate future tense. So we don't bother about saying akan. Last phrase for this one is tolong siapkan kerja on time. Tolong please siapkan kerja. Finish the work. On time. On time is actually pada masanya. But normally people here like to use the word on time. So, tolong siapkan kerja on time. Please finish the word on time. I guess that's all our lesson for this video. Please take care. If you are working in the construction site, please don't underestimate the safety measures. Please follow the rules. Thank you so much for watching me. And if you like my video, Please check out my Patreon page so that I can have more time to make more video. Thank you very much again for watching me and see you again next lesson. Bye!